hi guys uh, welcome to my channel avme in today's video i'm going to show you how to configure the new yamaha dm3 dante version uh, on your existing system or new system just like a quick setup so basically this is out of the box mixer i have configured absolutely nothing other than the network uh, settings and dante settings so first just switch on the mixer you would need a little switch i'm using this uh, dp link uh, power over ethernet uh, and uh, i'm using the sennheiser smcr4 system microphone system it's like a transmitter and receiver although the receiver would show up as uh, transmitter on Dante because obviously we need to forward the signal from uh, the RF receiver in Dante to the Yamaha so uh, basically I have configured everything on the Dante side if you don't know how to do it then ask me and uh, I'll create a separate video about it uh, so I'm not using any XLR cables. The only XLR cable connected is with the Yamaha DBR15 speaker, which is going as an output. Here you can see. And uh, that's the only output I'm using. Uh, and uh, it's not a Dante output. Although if I've got a Dante network, I can then just uh, send the signal to any device uh, uh, but this is like a local Dante setup uh, I haven't configured it on the uh, existing uh, production network yet but uh, I would do that uh, at a later stage once I've tested everything so uh, just to start with if you can see the screen I know there is a lot of glare here just go here there is some Dante setup here, but you can't do much there. So obviously you're gonna need the Dante controller on your computer. And uh, uh, if you don't know how to use and configure devices from Dante controller, then ask me or I would direct you in the right direction. So basically what I have done, as you can see with this receiver, this receiver, this microphone is connected to this receiver this receiver is connected to the switch and uh, the switch is supplying power to the speaker uh, receiver and uh, this switch is then connected to my laptop and the mixer and uh, both to LAN port and Dante port and uh, then and it's on it has to be on the same sub network and same subnet uh, so sub network and subnet uh, two different things so make sure it's on the same subnet and same sub network in order for everything to work properly and the clock speed uh, has to be the same uh, in this instance i'm using the world clock uh, and it's 48 kilohertz and uh, the dm3 is the leader i'll show you in the device status and uh, here you can see this is the leader so none of the Dante devices would sync with each other if you select a different uh, clock speed for the kilohertz like if it's like 96 kilohertz one device and the other is 48 and it doesn't support 96 it would not work so anyways just uh, one one channel setup here's the microphone it's configured on my channel one as you can see uh, this is very nice desk to use basically i'm just getting used to it uh, it's just i just opened it uh, you could say it's a baby version of ql5 uh, but the user interface is different uh, gui is different and so there you go I've configured channel one as to receive Dante signal and linked it to the stereo bus. And I'm gonna speak into the microphone. This is a test, testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, so this was just a quick video uh, to demonstrate uh, uh, 
EM3, how to configure it on Dante and stuff. And if you wanna want me to make more detailed videos and stuff, then let me know. And uh, I would take care guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.